Welcome to Connected Families Discipline That Connects videocast series. For more information, you can visit us at connectedfamilies.org. Hi, I'm Chad Hange, and I'm here today with Lynn Jackson, co-founder of Connected Families. And today's topic is life-defining photos. Now, we've talked about a few different things here, but I don't think we've ever brought photos into the picture. So help us understand, what do you mean by life-defining photos? Well, in the stress and the hurry and the conflict of everyday family life, it's often the, the times of strong emotions that get anchored as memories in our brain. And so they can begin to sort of define relationships. Uh, you get through the end of the day, you had 10 sibling fights break out, and mm. you start to think it was a horrible day, and you miss all the wonderful things in between. Uh -huh. So photos can help to redefine relationships, not as just filled with conflict, but also filled with love and fun and connection. So you had a little conflict in your home, okay, as I recall, the stories I've heard and read. Yep. So how did, how did photos uh, help redefine uh, those conflicts or that stress? Well, the first thing that was helpful to me because my little creative memories album time was really refreshing because I got alone, I got creative, so it refreshed my soul to just be with the photos and, and look at them and work with them. <clears throat> but then secondly, it was more about really trying to hone in on what God was developing in our kids in terms of character and be taking photos and then forming pages around those kinds of things, so as well as the connection in their relationships that they really did have in spite of the conflicts that were so frequent. So you were really being thoughtful mm -hmm. as you had your alone time and creative memory time uh, with your scrapbooks about what partic you know, ab about what was going on with your kids and how you might uh, help draw out some mm -hmm. growth areas. Yep. So what growth areas did you focus on? Well, we, you know, for a timid child, we focused on some challenges that they overcame. We did a lot of camping. Uh, we had, we, when they were little, we climbed a mountain, you know, and we laugh in the face mm. of danger was kind of the title of it. Uh, so you um, would title them. Yeah, we would title uh. them to make sure that that identity got mm. through. Um, mm. You know, there was times of serving others, um, whether it was breakfast in bed or serving on an Indian reservation. But specifically with um, Daniel, you know, he struggled with aggression and frustration and, you know, being sometimes a little pretty verbally hurtful. So we were really careful to take pictures of the times when he was doing things other than uh -huh. that. And so we came up with some fun titles that really helped cement that identity. Mm -hmm. Real Men Snuggle <laughs> was <laughs> nice. one. Random Acts <laughs> of Kindness Towards Your Family was mm -hmm. another page. Uh, another one was learning to be a gentle man, wow. um, you know, and then there's brotherly love and playmates and soulmates and those kinds of titles that group the photos together and really built a positive identity for him as a loving, kind mm. boy that was really growing in those things. So this is who you are. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, my wife and I, <laughs> not scrapbookers. Okay? We've got we've got photos in, in shoe boxes and mm -hmm. photos on hard drives. Mm -hmm. um, so any thoughts or tips for for people like us who don't scrapbook necessarily? Mm -hmm. Well, scrapbooking isn't necessarily as difficult as it you know is if you get out of all the paper and mm -hmm. the scissors and all that stuff. I have one coaching mom who just her face lit up and she said. You know, her four-year-old is struggling with being aggressive towards the two-year-old brother. And she says, I'm going to just, you know, work with my older son to make an album of the fun that the two of them have. And just do it online with a little clip paste stuff. Um, and then, you know, other things that you can do is just be really intentional to either photo or video some fun, connective, kind mm. interaction of your kids during the day. And then whatever, whoever is the working parent gets to see that at dinner time and the kids can tell mm. them all about it. Wow. Or you can email it to a grandparent or whatever. Um, you know, you could print photos, just put them you know, on, a, on a color printer mm. or even mm. black and white, put them on the refrigerator. And so that it's a reminder of the kids of the kindness and the connection that is growing mm. in their relationship. Yeah. Those images are so powerful mm -hmm. and lasting as well. Yeah. So you're looking at a photo with, with your child. Yeah. How do you maximize the impact of that photo to build character and identity with your child? Well, we have actually at Connected Families developed a, a, a way called the ABC Affirmation. And I'm just going to quick give an example of this. And then uh, folks can search for it on our website. Just type in ABC Affirmation. And it's a great way to build skills, identity, and character um, and, and wisdom in your kids. So, for example, this photo of Daniel, I would review it with him and go, God, Daniel, do you remember 
when you were hiding under the blanket on Bethany's seventh birthday mm -hmm. and you popped out um, with our little keyboard set on happy birthday and you danced with her in your suit mm -hmm. around the living room before she even had breakfast. Look at the expression on her face. Oh my goodness, she looks so happy in that. You were such a blessing to her. And you practice the skills that are, and the, and the kindness that is going to make you such a good husband and dad someday. That was so creative and thoughtful. So in that, I, told, I talked about what specifically he did that was helpful. I talked about the benefit and the blessing, both to Bethany and to him. And I labeled it with a character quality of creative and thoughtful. Yeah. And so it just packs a lot of affirmation. And then you combine that with that visual image and you've gone a long way towards building positive identity and character in your kids. Such a huge thing. And something that I probably would never have paid attention to or thought of in terms of maximizing photos. So savor the moment with your kids. Uh, get into the photos and, uh, and see what character and identity we can help our kids develop. Thanks so much, Lynn. We appreciate your insight in this. And uh, thank you for joining us at Connected Families.